morning everyone, welcome back to my plot. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to do a couple of small projects. First one is to be up on that green grassy bank. I'm going to update the flower displays in the tubs up there. Members of the public walk past and I've been creating displays since the winter, including daffodils, tulips, snowdrops, hyacinths, and uh, now it's time to update it with a summer display of climbing scented flowers and other things and I'll tell you more about that when we get up there. But uh, first of all I'm going to put some oxygenating plants into the pond. That's one thing that I've lacked a little bit of in the last few weeks. I've had some arrive so now it's time to put them in. I'll turn you around and I'll show you what I've been doing. Well if you've seen my video on making a pond I made a deep well in the middle there about three foot deep or 90 centimeters and these three plants are perfect for that. I've got water crowfoot here, water soldier there, and water violet there. And these will provide oxygen to the pond. This is the water violet. They come in a pack of five. So the advice is to drop these into the water, but they really do benefit from being planted in pebbles or gravel. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to drop a couple into the middle of the pond and let them just sink to the bottom. And then three of them I'm going to plant under the pebbles a bit nearer the surface and see how they get on. And first thing I'm going to do is drop these two into the middle of the pond. Wish me luck. That one's going to go there. And that one's going to go there. I've got down to the rocks already. And I'm going to put one there like that. I've got a hole right down there. I'm going to try and lean in without dropping my microphone in and see if I can get that one down there. So that leads to two others. This is Water Soldier. There's a few of those in there. And then I've got Water Crowfoot here. And you can just throw these in. So I'm going to put these in the middle section there. We've got a pack of five water crowfoot, which I'm just going to pop into the middle. And these are sort of floating ones. Next, it's water soldier. How many of those have we got? Wow, that's amazing. One, two, three, four, five of these lovely water soldiers as well. They're going to be popped into the middle. Goodness knows how they survive, but apparently they do. I hope no big crows take off with them. <laughs> so they're going to go into the middle. One. Two, three, four, five. That's my oxygenating plants popped in today. And I'll give you an update in a couple of weeks time. Looking down the path along the bank, not sure if you can hear the great tit calling. But there is one just above me. And also we've got bird feeders directly hanging from the ash tree in front of us. I'm not sure if you can see it right in the middle. There's a squirrel proof nut bird feeder there. The squirrel's already been around this morning to have a look and he's gone away. So that shows me that that's going to work. The squirrel was taking all the nuts, not leaving any for the birds. So along the top there, we've got the pavement and a, a fence. And people walk past, members of the public walk past and they can see down onto my plot and they can see the pond and the transformation that's taken place over the last 
year and a half to two years. So I'll take you up there and show you what I'm going to do. So those two blue tubs and the round one in the middle are going to make a display for the public walking past. And uh, they'll also have a lovely view down to the plot here. I'm letting this bank go wild in the summer. So I've got my canes and the round tub. Canes are going to be used to give the climbing flowers a, a head start. And then I'll train them onto the fence and see if they'll grab hold of the fence. And over here, I'll show you what I've got. I've got some uh, sweet peas, fragrant variety. Then I've got some cosmos for a bit of colour. And at the back there I've got nasturtiums, they'll flow out of the pots onto the ground. And then I've got some uh, self-seeded foxgloves there from home, looking a bit straggly, but they'll add a little bit of colour in the pots. All right, you can see I've got the foxgloves in there, in this middle tub. I've got two canes either side and another one's going to go at the back here. And then I'll put some string round to, for the climbing sweet peas to go up. They'll come up behind the foxgloves and then come up above and then I'll do a trailing string to the fence, see how it goes, and then some nasturtium to flow over the top. Well, it might not look much, but that's this pot planted up. So we've got the foxgloves here. We've got some scented sweet peas around the back. And then we've got some nasturtium at the sides and in the middle. And that, hopefully, if it doesn't get eaten by slugs, will flow over the sides and the Sweet peas will start climbing up this bamboo structure. So what I'm going to do is get some string and start making a weave, it, weave of uh, string round to keep this tight and then see if we can get the sweet peas to take hold. That's a few more planted up, but I'm going to put some string on in a minute. But I'll just give it some water. That's the other tub. But before I put these canes round, I'm going to do some watering. I'm sure those nasturtiums are going to climb as well up this corner. Well, it looks a bit rough at the moment, but uh, give that a couple of weeks. Fingers crossed the foxglove will come back to life and those climbers will be on their way up. So what I'm going to do is start winding this twine round for the climbers. Now that would be enough to get me started and I'll just go and do the others. So I've got this short roll of fencing screen material that I've bought home, from home and I'm going to use it to line the front face of these blue boxes. So it uh, just looks a bit more natural from the public point of view and uh, covers up the blue. I'm pretty sure that looks a whole lot better than it did with that uh, screen in, in front of the blue tub. I've also done the same with the other blue tub and the little bit that was left over I put around the middle tub. Thanks very much for watching guys. I enjoyed doing that little project for the public and putting the oxygenators in should help that pond a lot. By the way, this tree here that you can see there, I'm absolutely convinced there's a pair of nesting great tits going in and out feeding their chicks. So uh, I'm trying to keep away from it as much as I can. I know they're pretty hard of these birds, but uh, so I don't frighten them off. I'll show you a couple of clips of uh, birds going in and out. Take care guys. See you soon. Bye.